from the local station. News 4 Jax starts now. Two men are now charged with murder. Deputies saying they sold fentanyl that was laced with drugs that led to the overdose of two men in St. Johns County. 42-year-old Rico Benefield and 36-year-old Brian Pitt are both facing first-degree murder charges tonight. And St. Johns County Sheriff Shore sending this message to drug dealers after their arrests. You deal drugs and people die because of those drugs, we're going to put you in jail for murder. News for Jack's reporter Brittany Muller is joining us live outside of Benefield's house in Arlington. So, Brittany, you spoke with neighbors. What are they telling you about this? Tark, they say this house is now vacant, that the family moved out several days ago. But back in October, neighbors tell me they saw when JSO, as well as the St. Johns County Sheriff's Office, conducted a search warrant, seizing a lot of drugs. Now, the man that used to live here, as well as another man, have been arrested in connection with two fatal fentanyl overdoses. According to this indictment, 42-year-old Rico Benefield is charged with two counts of first-degree murder in the drug fentanyl overdose deaths of two young St. John's County men. 36-year-old Brian Pitt is also charged in one of the cases for assisting Benefield. These individuals took advantage of folks who were addicted to drugs and that resulted in their death. The men died in October 2017 and this past September, according to the indictment. Sheriff David Shore says both men lived with their parents and both became addicted to narcotics. One of them started taking drugs to treat a health issue. In one case, the mother of one of these victims passed away two days later from a heart attack after seeing her son die. Two months ago, the Jacksonville Sheriff's Office, along with St. John's County deputies, raided Benefield's home. Authorities busted him with meth, synthetic marijuana, five pot plants, and two guns at his East Arlington home, according to the arrest report. I spoke with one neighbor who was home at the time and saw it all unfold. I heard this very loud sound, almost like a bomb had gone off nearby. What's your reaction living three houses down from where this took place? Um, it's really startling and surprising, um, but it can kind of just show you that it can happen anywhere. Sheriff Shore calls the ongoing opioid epidemic another chapter in an evolving human tragedy. Benefield and Pitt are being held at the Duval County Jail under the St. John's County warrant. Now, authorities are hoping that this will send a message to other drug dealers in our community. Reporting live tonight from East Arlington, Brittany Muller, Channel 4, The Local Station.